Hello Year 4, today we're going to carry on the story of David. We've heard already about his early life and how he fought Goliath. We've heard last time before the half-term holiday about David's special friendship with Jonathan, King Saul's son. And we've heard about the relationship between King Saul and David. Today, I've got three different clips for you to have a look at. They're all telling the story of David and King Saul, but some details are in one of the clips and perhaps there's something else in the other. If we were to read the Bible in Samuel 1, chapter 24 and chapter 26, we'd have the whole picture. I think the middle one, the Moody Bible Institute video, is very interesting. It's old fashioned and you might be put off by that at first, but I found it gives lots of information that is useful for our understanding. I want you to have a think about what you would do if you were in David's place. In fact, if we were in class, we would do a Conscience Alley activity where we'd stop the story in different places and we'd really think carefully about what we do in David's place. So if you're at home, have a think. When David was hidden in the cave and King Saul entered the cave, what would you do? What would you do if you saw Saul fast asleep and unguarded? Did David make the right decision, in your opinion? And if so, why did he make the right decision? Then your activity for today is to really consider what makes a good king. And on the other hand, what would make a bad king? On your activity sheet, I've thrown in one or two ideas, but I'll be really interested to see your take on what would make a good king and what would make a bad king. So, looking forward to seeing you back in class again soon. Take care, have fun, work hard, See you soon. Bye.